Hello, today we're going to do a short EFT tapping sequence on pain in the body. We're going to specifically um, work with pain in the neck and shoulders. What often happens when we focus on one particular area of the body where we have pain and we do some tapping around that is the pain will start to move. So for example, if we can work with the pain in the neck or the shoulders and we do a few rounds, it inevitably just starts to move down the arms and then just leave the body, which is fantastic. So you may need to adapt your tapping. So once you've done tapping on the neck and the shoulder pain, you may need to do more setup statements with specifically where the pain is. So let's begin. What we do is we rate the amount of discomfort out of 10 first so that we can monitor our results. So check in with the neck pain and shoulder pain out of 10, how intense is it and what kind of pain is it? We're going to use that information in our setup statement. Okay, let's begin tapping the side of the hand. Your job is to keep really tuned in to the pain and where it is and any potential feelings or emotions you have around it. I'm going to leave some gaps so that you can fill them in for yourself as well. All right, side of the hand. Even though I have this pain in my neck, I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have all this tension in my neck and shoulders, I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I've got this tension in my neck and shoulders, I love and accept myself anyway. I like to use two hands. You can use the right or the left, whatever's comfortable for you. Sometimes you have pain and you can't move so well, so just do what's comfortable for you. Tapping the top of the head if you can. Really focus on the area of your body. All this tension in my neck and shoulders. Eyebrow where the hair begins. All this stress in my neck and shoulders. All this tension and pain in my neck and shoulders, under the eye. All this stress under the nose, all this pain, chin, all this stress, collarbone, just under that little nodule there, tapping around here on both sides. All this stress and tension I've been carrying under the arm, it's about four fingers wide under the arm, tapping there. All this pain and stress and the ribs under the nipple where the brow would sit. All this stress and tension in my neck and shoulders. Big breath in, take a breath and relax the arms down. Relax the shoulders and again, breathe in and relax. We're now going to do something called the nine gamut, a wonderful tapping sequence to help you if you do get a bit stuck. We're going to tap between the little finger and the ring finger about an inch away from the wrist in that groove. Place your hand on your heart to steady your hand. Good, tapping there. Focusing, looking straight ahead. Focus on where you're feeling the tension and the stress. Just say out loud, all this tension in my now keep your head still, look hard down left to the floor. Look straight ahead, hard down right. Look straight ahead, big breath in. Relax the shoulders. Keep your chin still and your head with your eyes look up to the ceiling or the sky. Now take your eyes as if they're going around a very big clock, very slowly. Keep tapping your hand, keep your head still, all the way around down to the floor. Nice and slow, all this pain, this tension. Tapping all the way around, slowly, slowly. All the way up to 12 o'clock, the ceiling or the sky. Look straight ahead, big breath in. Drop the shoulders. You may already be feeling some relief, which is great. Looking straight ahead, 
good. Now look up to the ceiling or the sky and go anti-clockwise. All this pain. All this pain. Choose to let it go. All this pain, slowly round, go as slow as you can. All this pain. Look straight ahead, big breath in again. Really drop those shoulders as comfortably as you can. Whew. Better, great. Now we're gonna hum a tune. We're activating the left and the right side of the brain with this nine gamut sequence. Okay, so that's the logical and the creative. We're resetting a button. So let's hum together. Happy birthday. Good, now count out loud to five. And visualize the numbers as if they're in front of you. One, two, three, four, five. Big breath in again. Let go of that stress and tension in the neck and the shoulders. Just move your head slightly comfortably. Just notice how it's feeling. Hopefully you've got some more movement. We're going to hum again. <clears throat> but first focus back in on where the tension is still, or maybe it's gone, which is great. If there's still a bit more, just focus in on it. <clears throat> and let's hum happy birthday again. Keep tapping this point. <laughs> Drop your arms down, move your body, just give it a little shake. I'm going to finish this full round by going back to the top of the head. I'm assuming it's a bit less. So we're going to say this remaining pain, eyebrow, this remaining tension in my, and say out loud where it is, this remaining stress in my, all this pain in my, under the nose, all this stress I'm carrying, chin, all this tension, collarbone, all this pain under the arm, all this tension, the ribs, all this pain. Stop tapping again, breath in. Take a moment to notice how you feel after doing six minutes of tapping. Certainly your mind is probably more still, feeling calmer. Hopefully your body too. I'm going to do one last round introducing some positive statements. Tapping the side of the hand. Even though I was carrying a lot of tension, it's safe for me to let it all go now. I love and accept myself. Even though I was in a lot of pain, I've taken action. I love and accept and honour my body. I choose to be here now, calm and confident. It's safe to completely let it go. Eyebrow. I choose to be at peace in my body. It's safe to be in my body. I choose to feel relaxed. I choose to feel calm. I choose to be here now. I love my body. I choose to take care of it and the ribs. I choose peace right here, right now. Hands on your heart, big breath in. Relax and let it go. Well done. You can do this as frequently as you like. You can do this several times a day to really let go of that pain and the emotions around it. So you can add in things like this frustration with this pain or this anger. This is a fairly simple, straightforward tap, but it will help if you do it regularly. Thanks for tapping with me today. Please leave your comments and questions below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.